I think DICE has gone and had a little bit of an oof moment here. The brand new Fliegerfaust gadget that's been unlocked in the last day by the community, well, it's damn good fun to use if you are an infantry player on the ground, that's for sure, but I think it's just not properly balanced at the moment. There's a very small learning curve to it, and then bam, you've got yourself an insanely powerful plane destroyer to use instead of having to find an AA cannon to take down that fighter that's been bothering you all game. And I think we need to have a chat about what's happened to this thing and perhaps why it's in this state. But before we get to that chat, our sponsor today, Elgato, wants me to let you know about their new HD60S Plus capture card. This little unit, the same size as the old HD60S, it can now capture content in HDR as well at that 1080p 60fps ratio that you're looking for. If you want to capture content that looks the best around, then the HD60S Plus is what you need. Click the link in the description for more details. So, as I said, the Fliegerfaust is now unlocked and it's active for all Battlefield 5 players. You just have to visit the armory the next time you fire up the game and you'll be greeted with it. And it's been unlocked after all the Battlefield 5 players that have played for the last four days. They collectively racked up 100 million kills or assists since Thursday. So, it's only taken a few days for all that to happen, which is pretty awesome. And I did quite like that the entire community was working towards unlocking this item instead of that usual Tides of War system where everyone sort of unlocks it at their own pace. It was a nice change up from all the weeks that have come before and I hope that DICE gives this another go, maybe with the Pacific and some of the gadgets there. That would be quite nice to see. But once you get the Fliegerfaust in your hands, it's not going to take you long to realise just how much power it currently possesses. You spawn with three uses of it, so you reload after each set of rockets has been fired. And if you find an ammo resupply point, you can pick up an extra set of ammunition, so that gives you four shots total before needing to go back to find more ammunition. Plenty of opportunity then to point this thing at a fighter or a bomber in the air and just give it a go. And you're going to notice very quickly that it is very, very easy to use at the moment. In the first round that I used it, which was a conquest match on Fiel, which was halfway complete, I managed to take down five different aircraft with the Fliegerfaust. The best way that I can describe the ease of which I obtained these kills is I simply led my target a little bit, I fired the rockets, and then I stood there and waited to see if they hit the target, or at least if the rockets would explode near the target, and then I just got the kills. It really wasn't particularly difficult for me to hit planes, or at least just do some damage against them. It felt almost too easy, and then that's when I started to realise that this Fliegerfaust could become really annoying really quickly for the pilots in the air. Now, already, because I expressed my opinion on the Fliegerfaust on Twitter very soon after finishing, I think, my second round using it, I am seeing a lot of people disagree with my assessment that this thing is currently not very well balanced and will likely be nerfed. And while I respect those people's right to counter my opinion and to give their own assessment, that's totally fine. And at the moment, I'd say it's probably the best thing that you can do to counter my opinion so that if DICE happen to be watching this video or they're out there on social media trying to get an idea for what people think, they see the two sides of the story. There should always be two sides of the story. I just cannot see any way that DICE is going to leave this weapon alone, especially after seeing what people are doing with this thing the day that it's gone live. I've actually seen a person tweeting that they spent a round playing the game and they managed to take down 10 different planes whilst doing so. 10 planes as an infantry soldier on their own. That's, that's clearly just not right. No infantry soldier on their own is able to destroy 10 different tanks in one round. That's another vehicle presence in Battlefield 5. Or maybe they can take down 10 different tanks, but that's going to be very, very difficult for them to do that because of how weak the gadgets are available to infantry soldiers against other tanks. But now that same infantry soldier is capable of taking down 10 planes in one round with just one gadget. Of course, with the tanks, you get access to the launcher like the Piat or the Panzerfaust, and you get dynamite as well, so you've got lots of different options that you can use to take down the tanks, but even we know it takes more than two Panzerfaust rounds to take down a fully healed tank. But for planes, 
you can use the Panzerfaust, but you'd need to be very accurate to do that. But now you've got the Fliegerfaust. That blocks out the other launcher option. So when you take it, with just one gadget, you can now fully destroy a plane in one hit if you connect with it correctly. And it now takes far less skill to be able to line up that kill shot as well, comparing the Panzerfaust or the Piat to the Fliegerfaust. With the Piat or the Panzerfaust, you pretty much need a direct hit to be able to take that plane out. With the Flieger, the rounds sort of explode near the plane. So a lot of the time, you don't even need to be that accurate to do significant damage. At the moment, I can't really see anything else happening other than DICE giving the Fliegerfaust a bit of a nerf in a future patch. It might have only been live for a day or so, and it might seem premature that I'm giving this opinion, but it's not difficult to see why it's a problem. If you just jump into any match on a map like Fiel or Mercury, where there's lots of planes flying around, just see what happens when planes start to fly over an infantry location. Just see how many assault players whip out their Fliegerfaust and shoot at that plane. It's obvious that this thing is going to get nerfed. The problem that we have here does extend a little bit further as well when you realise that there really just isn't a great gameplay loop built into Battlefield 5 that exists between planes in the sky and infantry on the ground. So if you take Fiel as an example, which is where you're able to see this issue arising very, very quickly, the map doesn't have a huge amount of anti-air available for players on the ground to use. And the AA that is present is very easy for planes to target at the beginning of a round, and they can neutralize that before the infantry even has a chance to do something. Now, on Fiel as well, bombers, they're a big pick for pilots on that map because it presents the best opportunity for kills due to the density of infantry on the different flag points. One strafe and you can net four or five, maybe six kills very easily if those bombs are well aimed. And you see plenty of clips online where players are racking up a lot more kills than that in a strafe if the pilot maybe has good communications with someone on the ground who's maybe letting them know where the enemies are all stacking up. And then of course you have to ask yourself, are infantry on the ground, are they actively seeking out the AA positions, are they repairing them and then using them again on planes? Likely not very much because the AA is really not that effective against the planes. A good pilot in a fighter, they can aim in on one of the AA cannons and they can fire their own rounds at it and get a kill before the AA rounds from that cannon have come back up and hit the plane. There's really very little incentive for infantry to use those cannons, so they just don't use them. Now though, those same infantry players have got this portable ground-to-air rocket launcher that can take down a fighter in one hit if you land the shots correctly. That's a much more exciting proposition for all those infantry players, so they now carry this new launcher and they're starting to make life complete hell for the pilots who then cannot support their team from above without constantly being harassed by Fliegerfaust rounds. Essentially here, in typical DICE fashion, we've gone from one end of the scale, where infantry barely stood a chance of combating planes, all the way to the other end of the scale, where infantry, they arguably hold the better position in a battle between themselves and planes, which is kind of crazy to think about. I think there needs to be a little bit more back and forth, a little bit more depth in the combat between planes and infantry. Arguably the same way that there is more depth to the combat between infantry and tanks. Now to achieve that, here's what I think, in my opinion, DICE could do. I think the AA cannons, they need to do slightly more damage to planes. Just a little bit more, but not too much. Enough damage that infantry would actually want to use them to try and warn off planes away from objectives or maybe even take them down and destroy them if they know they're damaged. There needs to be better visibility of soldiers on the ground for the pilots of the plane so that they can identify their targets. And now that the Fliegerfaust has been introduced, that needs to be rebalanced so that it better fits into the gadget lineup. The rockets, they need to explode a lot closer to the planes so that players need to do a better job at predicting where that plane is going to go so that their shots hit the target. The really wide current spread of the rockets, that needs to be tightened so that if you manage to hit your target, you are going to do the right amount of damage. But if you miss the target or you just clip the target, then that plane is going to survive. That to me, that would represent a better overall gameplay loop between infantry 
and planes, now including the new Fliegerfaust launcher. Arguably the biggest problem is not the launcher itself because that is now being used as somewhat of a revenge tool by infantry against the last 12 months of bomber spam by pilots, but it actually is the gameplay loop that just isn't very satisfying between planes and infantry. And because it's not very satisfying, a new tool that's been added now makes it really exciting for one part of that fight. And of course, everyone's going to choose that and they're going to start using it straight away. But that's actually highlighted just how badly balanced the Fliegerfaust is at the moment. If DICE can improve that combat loop and bring the Fliegerfaust into line as a more balanced gadget, then I think they'll have a better setup moving forward for the Pacific Theater. Of course, we're going to see the fighters at the forefront of the action there, the F4U Corsair and the Zero Fighter. Those are going to be awesome to use for pilots in the Pacific Theater, but it's going to be no fun for those pilots if all they see is Fliegerfaust rounds firing at them from the beach of Iwo Jima and just taking them down instantly. That's going to kind of ruin the experience. But yeah, that's my opinion on the Fliegerfaust. It's OP and it should be illegal. No, I'm joking, of course. I do think it is very, very powerful, and I think it does need to be nerfed somewhat, but making it illegal, that would be a step too far because it is actually really, really fun to use when you hit those shots on target. I just think at the moment, it's far too powerful and far too easy to use. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and if you enjoyed this video, drop it a like below. If you didn't like it, then the dislike button is there for you. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.